Hi, this is the second of a few videos I'll probably be making this year. And today we are going to learn how to thread the Husqvarna Viking Opal. Yes, that's what it's called. Um, you are going to need your machine. You are going to need a bobbin. You are going to need a spool of thread. And you are going to need two spool caps. Yours might look different. Uh, we have many here. Now, you should already have these things in front of you, right? Good. So, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the bobbin. Now, the bobbins have a tiny little H on them that you might not be able to see on the video, but if you're looking at the bobbin in front of you, you should be able to see it. Now, to load the bobbin, we remove the little plastic top from this part here. You literally just put your finger on it and pull towards you, and it comes right off. To put the bobbin in, there's only one way to put it. If I try to put it in the wrong way, it doesn't fit. Don't force it. Just don't. So we put it in, and we make sure that the little H is up, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the thread through this tiny little hole that's right here. And I'm going to hold my bobbin, and I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to pull the thread to the side so it makes a little click and go around the guide here and cut it off at the razor blade there. So we went through the little hole here, we went up around this guide, and we came down here. That's all you have to do for the bobbin. Then you put this little plastic thing back on, and that's good. The next thing we're going to do is to set up the thread. So the first thing you want to do is take the bigger of your two spool end pin things, put them on, put the first one on here, like that, and put your thread on, and then put your other spool pin on. Now the reason we have the spool pins is so that our thread doesn't move around. For threading the top of the machine, we are going to go around this metal part, here, and then under here, follow along this opening, go down here, follow the arrow, go up here. Now when we get up here, right now you don't see anything. But if I move the needle to the a position, I see this little guy. And what you're going to do is you're going to go behind him and around, and that will put the thread through him, and then we're going to come down here and thread the needle. We'll do that eventually. So I'm going to show you how to do it with the thread. I probably should have used a colored thread, but oh well. So you, we're going to take the thread, and we're going to go around here, because white on white doesn't really show up very well. Oh well. We're going to come up here. If I have to make this video again, we'll use a different color. <laughs> we'll go down here, following the arrows, up here. And remember, go around this guy, and it goes through the little loop. You can see that, maybe, and go down here. Now, to thread the needle, we're going to put the pressure foot down. Now, when I move this down, if it doesn't go in the needle, that means you have to move your needle slightly up. And when this is in the eye of the needle, it will stay like that relatively easily. And what this does for you is it's going to thread the needle. You take the thread, you put it under those two little guides, and you're trying to get it caught by the hook that's in the eye of the needle. Then you pull this and you let it go up and there'll be a little loop of thread already through the needle. Pull it through and try not to lose it. And then what you're going to do is come over here. There's a little razor blade and you're going to cut the thread. And your machine is threaded. So then you take your fabulous fabric with the W on it. With the W on it, yes. Place it under the pressure foot. Of course, yours might not have a W on it. I haven't decided yet. Put it down, and literally, you can just go. And then when you want to stop, you leave your pressure foot down. You press the little cut button. And it cuts the thread for you. And that... I don't know if we can see it. I don't think it'll focus. Vaguely. Well, that's what a stitch looks like. If you want to see it, just come ask me. Any questions? Ask the real me, because I can't answer them right now. That would be time traveling or psychic, which I can do neither. All right. Hopefully this works. Bye.